Ah, hi everyone. This is my version of an XY drag chain for my K40 laser engraver. And in contrast to what is often to be found, this dilly dally kind of drag chains that you see that come with uh, do it yourself drag chains that come with. Uh, 3D printers and uh, you see on um, many K40s that that are attached here to the back, then make a bow and are attached somehow to to the laser head, and then they they have a curve here. I think it's not optimal. Um, I rest my case that um, having separate chains for each axis give much more of a constrained movement uh, of the uh, much better guidance for, for the wiring and the tubes that go through the deck chain, which is in case of the K40, it's not a big deal in my opinion. So what do you need? You need probably some some electrical wires for positioning um, laser pointer, and you need some some tubes for um, for the air assist. So what you can see goes like this on the x-axis. There's not much movement. In fact, during the movement. Um, a big part of the, of the chain stays put on the X-beam and um, the, the material inside the chain is bent very slightly and only in one direction and of course to achieve that when you want to constrain the Y-axis you have to repeat the I don't know if you can see that so it's the same story here. It's the same U bent chain on, on the Y axis, on the axis. That of course requires two separate chains. And this is, um, this is uh, not DIY. So this has been purchased on Amazon. It's a 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter uh, drag chain. So it's probably the smallest you can get. And frankly, a bigger chain probably wouldn't fit here on 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 the X beam because to make this U shape possible uh, it has to lay down nicely on the X beam and for that to achieve you need to um, you, you need to create a new a new uh, um, laser head carrier which I've created in Fusion 360. And it's kind of a bridge. I mean, it's not my invention. You have seen similar designs on Thingiverse, but this is specially designed and it's a snug fit for, for, um, for the chain. So it gives, it gives space underneath for the chain to lay down and to attach on, on, on the top. Must not be any higher, so the lid can be closed. So it's a, a best guess, but good fit. So, well, the other end of the chain needs to be attached to to the X beam as well, and I didn't want to drill into the material. So what I did, I created um, some sort of a cap that that snaps on on the end of the X beam. With some holes, it's uh, three millimeters with a ten millimeter distance, which is a usual measure, and it can snap on the X beam. So, what to do with the Y chain? The Y chain, I was also reluctant to drill any holes anywhere in the K40. So, what I did, it's probably not good, very good to be seen because it's. Uh, I get more light. Uh, not working. Dang. So what I did is this is kind of a L-shaped extension that reaches down here, gets this on level. And that's because 
it wouldn't get in way with my um, micro switch for for the lid switch and you need to be very careful because when this folds down when you close the lid this stupid mechanism here it takes up space here and gets in the way of of everything so uh, was a bit of a trial and error so then the chain travels into y direction and what i did here is also very funny i exploited the features of the k40 so you have some sheet metal here with the upper edge of that sheet metal don't know if it can capture it with the iphone uh, it's just snap on but it stays in place so it's quite nice there's no drilling in in, in, in the already assembled uh, laser engravers it's just snap on uh, is it's not very pretty as no part that i've designed ever since uh, is pretty but it's hopefully functional uh, yeah and this is how I attached everything so let's uh, let's get this here and now uh, I apply um, power to the logic board it should home and then maybe you can see the motion in action and maybe you also share my opinion why this is a better solution Similar to what is to be found on the bigger laser engravers like K50, K60, K80, you name it. Uh, my K50 here in the room is almost the same construction, a bit more professionally crafted, of course. It's a industrial built machine and the layout is just mirrored. So the Y chain is on the other side and the X chain, of, X chain, of course, unfolds in the opposite direction. So let's see. This is how it goes. So there you go. It's a nice and clean movement. I mean, just fetch the parts on Thingiverse, get some, some, some freaking drag train from Amazon or elsewhere or from AliExpress whatever you like it's uh, I think it's Amazon is most expensive it's 10 euros each but then at the end of the day you end up with a nice and uh, professional looking in my opinion professional looking solution so thanks you for watching bye bye